Hey, what's good family? In this video, we're gonna be going over when to enter and exit trades. And there's actually a lot of different trading strategies. So in this video, it's gonna be focused on when to enter and exit a trade using trend lines. All right, so here we are looking at the charts. You can see that I have a trend line drawn right here. And you can also see this an older one drawn right here as well. And I want to point out there is kind of a level of formerly resistance. Now it's going to serve as a area of support. So if you haven't seen the video that I made a few days ago, I think it's 11 minutes of me drawing trend lines. If you don't know how to draw trend lines, check that video out. I just spent 11 minutes drawing trend lines and I talked about why I was drawing it and all that if you don't know how to draw trend lines. But assuming that you do, all we're going to quickly do is talk about entries. What should you see? All right, so now this is a four-hour chart. We're on the four-hour chart right now, of course. And here it looks so obvious. Everything in the stock market looks obvious after the fact. But when you're in the moment, you can't tell. But as you can see here, we have this trend line that was being respected until it wasn't all right so we get this clean break right here and then once we get this break the break was at 257 and as of right now it's 238 and honestly i don't think it's done coming down yet i think it could at least come down to like 230 231 at the least but yeah looking at this strategy looking at the trend lines when should we have gotten this trade? Essentially, whenever you get the break of the trend line, that is your entry. So me, what I do is I go, I set the trend line alert, I hit save, and then essentially what you wanna do is you wanna grab your stop loss tool, set it where you entry. So my entry would be right here. I probably set my stop a little above, and then ultimately you target the next level of support if it's going to the downside. Not sure if I'm making it sound too simple, but to me, this is really simple. It's like, if you're looking for an entry or exit when you're trading using trend lines, at the break of the trend line, you're gonna enter your trade, or say I was playing this to the upside, at the break of the trend line is when you should exit your trade or at the next level of support. Once the trend is no longer trending, it's gonna be when, you're, when you exit. Going on, taking a look, let's take a look at one more example. Uh, I put this chart up the other day. So here, let's go down to a lower time frame. All right, so looking on this time frame, I called this one out on the watch list a couple days ago. This is Zap Electric Vehicles, ticker symbol ZAPP. This had a nice little run up and I said that when we got a break of this trend line, it would probably sell off and come down to this is a demand zone and it was also a level of resistance earlier. Now, if we look at the trade from when it happened, if you followed this trade plan, it broke right here. So had you got in and rode to the demand zone, and maybe you put your stop loss here, like right here. That's a 5.26 risk to reward ratio. And now right there is a $6 move you could have profited off of. So really when it comes to trading, once again, it's a lot easier hindsight, but when it comes to trading, you gotta understand you're taking a risk because had you used this strategy, you would have also probably tried to enter right here as well. And had you entered right here and you know, done the same thing and targeted here and had your stop loss in the similar, similar range, you would have got stopped out and lost on the contract. That's just part of the game. When, when you're trading, it is a game of risk and reward, game of probability. The losses are part of the game, but as long as the odds are in your favor, like trades like this, even a trade like this, if you take three of these trades miss two of them and get one of them right, you're still gonna be in profit. If you take five of these trades, miss four of them and get one of them right, you're still gonna be in profit. 
So it's a game of risk and reward. You're going to make some bad trades. You just want to cut your losses quickly. So essentially get in on the break of the trend line and get out at the next level. One other thing you can do is if you're on a lower time frame, wait for confirmation. So notice uh, right here on the 15 minute chart or the five minute chart, we come break below, kind of trade sideways, then come up, retest the trend line as resistance. This is serving as confirmation to me saying that this trend line that was support is now resistance. And once we bounce off, off of that, that tells me, hey, this trend has reversed and now we're riding it to the downside. So this is actually going to be the best thing. You may miss out on some of the move, but waiting for confirmation, waiting for a signal that the trend has changed, this is going to be the safest thing to do. But if you want to catch the full move, you get in on the break of the trend line. If you found this video to be helpful or learn anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Mandel signing off, and I want to change your life.